What's up guys? Before we get into today's vlog, I wanna ask a favor, a short, quick little favor. If you had a chance to pick up one of my new coloring books, like this one, or this one, or this one, or maybe this one. If you've enjoyed it, honestly, if you if you are enjoying coloring or uh, learning from one of those books, leave a review. Go into Amazon and I, you can either type in a review and you can like write it. You can leave a photo review. I'm not really sure how you do that. You can leave a picture of something. A picture of you with the book, I don't know. Or best of all, you can leave a video review. And it's important because videos rank much higher than photos and just regular typewritten stuff. I know it's a bit more work, but I appreciate it. Obviously, we want these to rank as best they can so that the, you know, the books get out there and kids get to color, like you. So thanks for listening. Let's get going on Blog 802. What's up, lady? Do you know what we're driving today? You have you have no clue? Volvo. Vol yeah, Volvo. Good Isn't job. It? it is a Volvo. <laughs> so we're driving the Volvo XC90. Uh, Volvo is not necessarily that creative with their names. Uh, oh, this is an hold SUV. Bad text. Okay. It stands out in this car for you, young lady. You know what's cool? I think I saw James Cameron in the hardware store. What what does that even have to do with a Volvo at well, all? The Volvo took me to the hardware store. <sighs> One second you're driving a Volvo, and the next second you think you see James Cameron. It wasn't James it Cameron. It was James. It wasn't. Cameron. I'm it wasn't close. Today, we're gonna be doing some really cool things with Paul Grisanti, uh, some really great houses. But before we do that, we're gonna go to the beach. There's some big waves happening. We're not gonna take the Fisker. We're gonna take the, we're gonna take the Volvo XC90. That's going back today. I don't even know where it is. Oh, it's right about there. waves don't last that long so we got to go check it out we're gonna go to the boo and we're gonna sit on the beach with some coffee okay sounds good gotten to drive this Volvo all that much this week. We've had basically four cars parked out front. And now we have another one being swapped today. We have a, a rather incredible car coming in today, but I'll get into that later because we got way too much going on.
I'm currently driving the Fisker, which is uh, directly out of the Murphy Museum. Big thanks to David Neal at the Murphy for hooking me up with this car. It's spectacular. This car obviously was designed by my friend uh, Henrik Fisker. This is a 2012 model, and we're running on full stealth mode today, uh, full electric. But I'm headed up to uh, to Colwell Banker up to meet with Paul Grisanti. We're going to take a look at some homes today, some serious homes. Now, we're going to take a look at a house that I have seen for years up in Canaan, and I'm, I'm hoping that we're going to look at this house. It's called the Copper Dome House. If you go online, there's no not really too much about it, so we're gonna get up close and personal, and we're gonna check out a few other houses. Keep your fingers crossed, because there's gonna be some serious stuff going on. Once again, through the magic of Hollywood, Paul Grisanti just disappears in the Fisker. Greetings, I'm your magic Fisker accessory. <laughs> and today, I'm gonna guide you. Mm. You had no idea there was such a good navigation system on this vehicle. I know. I I'm know. gonna guide you to some houses on Point Doom mm -hmm. and a couple mobile homes too, just because they're interesting. And, and they're not like normal mobile homes. You're yeah. absolutely right. They're yeah. extremely well-located mobile homes. Yeah. Mobile mansions is what we call them. Mobile mansions. We've yeah. got those. Mm -hmm. We're going to see one that's only $995,000. Oh, a cheap one. But yeah. later on in the day, we have the opportunity to see one that is three million four ninety five. Yeah, that's like, like in, a, in, a, in some other town, that would be eight mobile homes all connected. Yeah, you know, but here it's yeah, you know, maybe it's a double wine. Yeah. And uh, we're at the Paradise Cove Trailer Trailer Mansions. Yes. Right. Yes. Uh, this, which is a fantastic place. This is absolutely an incredible place. But we're in a special place today. Uh, I hate to call it a trailer park or a trailer home. What would you call this? Uh, they call it, I mean, they call it a manufactured home park, but okay. you know, in its roots, it's a it's a trailer park. Yeah, it's yeah. very unique, though. Yeah, very probably unique. unlike anything on the planet. So uh, this place, we just looked around. The tile work is phenomenal. Yeah. So this, yeah. this home is kind of they took on kind of a Spanish hacienda take on it, and it's a really special home. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's got some of the best views in in Paradise Cove. Right. And um, and the home belongs to Tris Imboden. He's a he's been living in Paradise Cove quite a while. He's a, a drummer for Chicago, mm -hmm. and um, so he's really kind of made it his own. And uh, as you go through the house, you'll see some of those. Really cool. I mean, the surfboards say Chicago on them and yeah. everything else. <laughs> uh, and now he's touring with uh, Kenny Loggins. That is correct. Which is very cool. Uh, tell me some, some highlights of this home. So, I mean, the biggest highlight of this home is the view. Um, you, you know, you get a, a spectacular ocean view from almost every inch of the home. You know, from the moment you walk in the door to the deck that runs along and faces Incredible. the ocean. Yeah. And that's what really people are looking for. Forgive me. See, someone's calling for the house already. Yeah. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's the highlight of it. And then it's got a unique style to it. A lot of the, the homes in here are kind of the, the typical uh, wide plank, white oak flooring, and yeah. white cabinetry. And it's this got has a great layout too. Yeah, it has yeah. great layout. You can, you can walk right down to the beach. It's you can, a spectacular beach down there. Yeah, it's about it's about a hundred yards to the beach. Yeah. You really can't beat it. Yeah. What's the price point? Price point is three point five. Okay. And where do people go to find out more about the house if they want to take a look? If you want to take a look, give me a call three one zero five six seven five seven zero four, or you can go to paradiseliving.com and you'll see uh, this listing and some others. Rocking. All right. Thank you, man. All right. Thank you. Okay. Cool. <laughs>
I gotta say, that doesn't suck, Paul. Not at all. Yeah, uh, I would take that. Doesn't in a hot even second. create a small localized low pressure area. <laughs> Uh, but it does also, it's a 3.5 million for that one, uh, yes. but the space rent is two grand. Two grand a month. And that is basically you're renting the space on a monthly basis. Park owns the land underneath your, your coach. Right. That space rent pays for the gate operation mm -hmm. and all of, and some of the utilities as well. The maintenance of, of everything. Yeah. I'm sure that adds up. All right, where are we going next? We're going on to point. We're going to go back out to PCH and get go up to Point Doom. All right.